On November 8th, did Donald Trump win Wisconsin or did Hillary lose it? Oh, I think that Hillary lost it. Um, or I would say that the Democratic Party in general, because we didn't just lose the presidential election in the state for the first time in 32 years. We also lost a U.S. Senate race in a presidential year for the first time in 32 years. Um, we, we lost another seat in the Assembly and another seat in the State Senate because we weren't organized on the ground. There are vast swaths of this state that if you look at the blue and red map are red. And they're red because we haven't even bothered to show up. I think the voters were looking for change. And uh, I believe that uh, our message was not change, especially as Hillary as the candidate. Um, Hillary had been beaten up by the Republican Party for 20 years and uh, went into that campaign sort of a damaged candidate. If you talk to people that actually voted for Trump, they were not, most of them were not enthusiastic. It was a, a desperate vote. It was a desperate vote of hope for change. Hillary Clinton didn't lose the election. She won the popular vote for the first time a, a woman has ever done that in U.S. history. I think Donald Trump won Wisconsin. He went out and, and got people. He went out and organized through online forums and riled people up with some fairly hateful messaging. But he went out and found a base and he activated it. He activated new voters, something we've failed to do. I do believe that we lost this and we lost it because we weren't ensuring that every part of our state was getting the information they needed. So I believe we could have won this state had we had people informed about how great Hillary Clinton would have been as our president and instead they settled for Donald Trump because that's the only message they were hearing. Joe, why can't your party beat Scott Walker? Scott Walker has a lot of money and that in part is what has helped him win. We do not deliver a message well. Uh, we are focusing on some of the issues that are divisive rather than focusing on the issues that are, uh, gather a lot of people together. We're missing those issues that unite us and uh, resonate with voters. We have gotten beat three straight times by this guy. We've got to fight on the Constitution and for some decent transparency with our tax dollars. We do those two things and he's going to go down. There's so much money that the Republican Party puts into putting out a message that, that bamboozles people, that he claims that he's going to do something and he makes it sound wonderful and then he never delivers. We need to do the real serious on the ground grassroots organizing of getting folks talking about shared values neighbor to neighbor so that we can build the kind of message and the kind of infrastructure in our communities that regardless who the candidate is, the party is prepared to deliver uh, an election victory on, on election day. Scott Walker better look out because we're going to take him down.